Hello and welcome to Dr. Varsha Gaitonde's channel. Today I am having C technology basic notes for ICR, JRF, SRF and other basic exams and this is just to recall your knowledge of C technology. Wherever explanation is required I will explain or else I am just going to read these points. The first one is new varieties are tested as dust. Here dust is distinctness, uniformity and stability. Nowadays N dust became popular that is novelty means newness is also required to test the any variety as a new variety. Cross pollinated crops show much greater variation than self pollinated crops. This variation tend to increase with increase in number of generations. In India normally three generation system of seed production is practiced that is breeder, foundation and uh, certified seed whereas registered seed is not generally practiced. Production of high quality nuclear or breeder seed is responsibility of plant breeder. The breeder maintains high genetic purity of seeds through maintenance breeding. This is very important for maintaining the genetic purity maintenance breeding is very must. Maintenance breeding is maintaining the genetic purity generation after generation. Let us come to seed development, multiplication and chemical composition. Events of seed development. For seed any seed to develop first pollination should happen followed by fertilization, development of fertilized ovule by cell division then loss of moisture content finally before that accumulation of food resources then loss of moisture content then safely will go for storage of that particular seed this is the chain or event of seed development let us come to pollination and fertilization mature anther dehiscence and release pollen grains anther is the source of male part in any flower okay so this is haploid microspore Next majority of angiosperms bear chasmogamous flowers that is the which expose their mature anther and stigma to pollinating agents. Chasmogamous means always closed kind of condition okay in flowers. Slowly they will open and whenever they are hermaphrodite they will go for self fertilization. In some plants flowers do not open at all that is cleistogamous most efficient for self pollination here you should uh, understand the difference between chasmogamous and cleistogamous flower okay cross pollination is ensured in plants which bear unisexual flowers cross pollination in plants with bisexual flowers for this the mechanisms to promote cross pollination are self incompatibility or self sterility Dichogamy that is the condition of maturation of male and female organs at different time. Hercogamy is structure of male and female sex organs proves a barrier. Then heterostyly means flowers are of different types depending on length of style and stigma. That is heterostyly. Here I will just repeat the mechanisms to boost cross pollination. Self incompatibility, dichogamy, hercogamy, heterostyly. The process of self pollination is found in crops like wheat, rice, barley, mung bean, cowpea, and all means majority of the pulses and cereals are self pollinated type. Cross pollinated means some of the uh, cereals like maize, rye, forage, legume, carrot, cauliflower, onion. Then often cross pollinated means sometimes they act as self pollinated majority of the time they are cross pollinated also that means 10 to 40 percent of cross pollination is generally found like cotton, pigeon pea etc. Coming to pollinating agents the mechanism of pollination by wind is called as anemophily through water is called hydrophily insects is called entomophily birds is ornithophily bats is chiropterophily okay after pollen lands on stigma pollen tubes travel through style secreting the pectinase which dissolves 
the intercellular substances of style so that the pollen grain enters into the ovule and inside the ovary so that the fertile process of fertilization get boosted now here the figure of embryo sac is given embryo sac is the outermost part here you will find seven celled eight nucleus embryo where you will find the three antipodal cells at the anterior port part at posterior two synergids then two polar nuclei between the two synergids you will find the egg cell tube nucleus vegetative nucleus is found at the posterior part pollen tube may enter from anterior as well as posterior again it depends on the different uh, plants and uh, flowering habit two sperm cells are generally found this is the common structure of any flower okay in angiosperms fertilization involves participation of two male nuclei that is double fertilization means participation of two nuclei is double fertilization one fuses with egg nucleus to form zygote and the other fuses with two polar nuclei to form triple endosperm that means the process takes place here are double fertilization means involvement of two male nuclei and triple fusion okay now the endosperm development you should uh, definitely know the difference between embryo and endosperm embryo will be diploid and endosperm will be always triploid okay three types of uh, endosperm nuclear where the endosperm nucleus undergoes several divisions prior to the cell wall formation like in wheat apple squash cellular type where there is no free nuclear phase then in um, bilobial here free nuclear division is practiced or uh, followed by cellularization or in monocots in endospermic dicot seeds endosperm is retained as permanent storage tissue that means the function of endosperm is to provide the food to developing embryo that means it will be storing starch sugar or whatever is required uh, food required for the developing embryo okay in non endospermic dicot seeds endosperm reserves are depleted and accumulated by developing embryo which are reorganized to cotyledons which in turn act as source of storage re reserved food for embryo after germination means in case of non endospermic dicot seeds the food is reserved as reserved in the form of cotyledons in cotyledons food is uh, stored or accumulated coming to seed structure and function seed may be dicotyledonous or monocotyledonous okay monocotyledonous seeds are mostly albuminous whereas dicotyledons again distributed as non endospermic that is exalbuminous example chickpea pea beans and endospermic that is albuminous example castor bean fenugreek here examples are very important because in exam they will uh, ask definitely wherever seed tech questions are involved monocotyledonous seeds are mostly albuminous this point you should always remember that monocotyledonous seeds are mostly albuminous means albumin is present in it typical dicot seed is made up of seed coat and embryo seed coat has two layers the outer thick and hard layer is called testa and the inner layer is called as which is smooth called as tegmen the seed coat bears a scar called hilum that is point of attachment of stalk the funicle or stalk forms a ridge called rafe along the margin of seed at one end of the hilum there is a small hole called micropyle there is an outgrowth below hilum in leguminous seed called sprophiole that is trophiole where the outgrowth below hilum in leguminous seeds now what is aril certain seeds have outgrowth like in castor bean or nutmeg which helps in attaching 
द अट्रैक्टिंग द एनिमल्स फॉर सीड डिस्पर्सल ओके सो द फंक्शन ऑफ एरिल इज टू अट्रैक्ट द बर्ड्स एंड इट ऑल्सो एनहेंस द क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन बाय अट्रैक्टिंग द इंसेक्ट्स एंड बर्ड्स एम्ब्रियो एम्ब्रियो कंसिस्ट ऑफ एम्ब्रियानिक एक्सिस एंड टू फ्लैशी कॉटिलेडॉन्स द एक्सिस इंक्लूड एम्ब्रियानिक रूट दैट इज रेडिकल देन हाइपोकोटाइल टू विच टू कॉटिलेडॉन्स आर अटैच्ड प्लूम्यूल विच इज शूट एपेक्स मीन्स इफ यू टेक एनी एम्ब्रियो देर विल बी प्लूम्यूल विच इज अ शूट बेरिंग और शूट गिविंग पार्ट ऑफ द एम्ब्रियो दैट इज प्लूम्यूल देन रेडिकल इज एम्ब्रियानिक रूट गिविंग पार्ट cotyledons of non endospermic seeds like in pea account for 90% of the mass of the seed in endospermic seed cotyledons are small and these are historial then the nucleus of ovary often fertilization it becomes perisperm act as food reserve in some plants like in yucca and coffee poecia seeds are generacea means the um, poecia group kind of uh, seeds these are generally enclosed in one seeded fruit called caryopsis seed coat is fused with fruit wall to form a pericarp pericarp is the outermost surface endosperm is uh, separated from embryo by epithelial layer outermost layer of endosperm is alluron layer that is made up of living cells embryo is small consist shield shaped cotyledon called scutellum scutellum is nothing but small shield shaped cotyledon in embryo okay plumule and protected by coleoptile radical is protected by coleoriza that means a cap like a structure which protects the plumule is called coleoptile and the cap like structure which which protects the radical is called coleoriza scutellum supply food material to growing embryo now the seed growth and maturation part here there is one dicot seed and one monocot seed and these are well labeled in the monocot seed you can find this is generally a typical maize seed okay pericarp is the outermost layer then followed by alluron layer just below the pericarp or just inside the pericarp okay, peris pericarp then um, endosperm is the food storing uh, part then scutellum is formed inside the embryo coleoptile leaf primordia shoot primordia mesocotyle radical and coleoriza okay then in case of dicot seed shoot meristem and cotyledon attachment then primary leaf primordia radical micropyle and then hilum attachment uh, part then micropyle is the opening from where the water entry will take place then strophiole cotyledon and seed coat this is the uh, typical dicot seed coming to the growth and maturation of seed seed is physiologically mature only when it attains maximum dry weight germinability and vigor okay normally seed is harvested at field maturity where moisture is about 6 to 10% example in case of wheat soya bean attains maximum dry weight between 48 to 54 days after flowering attains maximum oil content between 24 to 42 days after flowering protein content maximum during 12 to 18 days after fertilization this is all about uh, soya bean generally 15 to 18 percent moisture content will be there during the field maturity condition after that uh, will dry the seeds and will bring down the moisture content from up to 8 to 12 percent okay that is the general procedure for drying and uh, safe storage of the seeds oil accumulation starts only after protein accumulation completes okay that means protein accumulation takes place first then followed by oil accumulation coming to the content or the percent of protein and fat in different uh, uh, crops like in cereal wheat protein 10 to 14% fat is 1 to 2 maize 10 to 12 fat is 4 to 6 in jowar 8 to 12 19% uh, protein will be found and uh, 3 to 4% fat in legumes soya bean 38 to 42% protein as you know soya bean has highest content of protein 
fat 18 to 22 percent in lentils 25 to 30 percent protein and uh, 0.5 to 1 percent fat then in chickpea 20 to 24 percent protein 3.1 to 5.8 percent fat in oil seeds in sunflower 26 to 41 percent protein and 40 to 55 percent fat is found maize and wheat are generally all cereals are called as starchy seeds Fatty seeds are sunflower and rapeseed means which are having uh, more oil. Proteinaceous seeds means soya bean, chick, uh, chickpea and all this type. Here oligosaccharide present in seed is raffinose. Okay. Remember in wheat dry weight of seed increase rapidly in about 35 days after anthesis. In wheat, starch is a major reserve material and patterns of accumulation of starch is similar to that of dry matter accumulation. In soya bean, nitrogen content decreases with increase in age of the seed. These are the points to remember. Coming to seed quality, genetic purity is controlled in the field through process of seed certification as you know seed certification is a big process where involvement of government semi-government and non-government officials also genetic purity can be tested in field plot test this field plot test is uh, very important coming to germination percentage always tested only for pure seed fraction okay the combination of pure seed is germination capacity is called pure live seed remember what is pure live seed it is purity percentage into germination percentage divided by 100 or in case in condition of definition combination of pure seed is germination capacity coming to vigor degree of aliveness of any seed is called vigor it is ability of seed to emerge in varying environments in field the Minimum quality standards for seed are fixed in national seed program. Important procedure employed in quality control program are seed testing, seed certification and seed law enforcement. International Seed Testing Association that is ISTA came in 1924, 10th July. Plants growing in temperate region generally tend to flower in long day while those grow in tropics require short day to flower this is a general statement not so in all the plants okay too high temperature during crop maturity brings forced maturity and poor seed quality temperature between 24 to 38 degree celsius is most favorable for activities of bees lower humidity is required for seed maturity high humidity produces De diseased seeds heavy rains delays the maturity and uh, precious germination uh, precocious germination of seeds precocious germination means like vv peri in case of maize and all before uh, 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 harvesting only maturation or uh, germination will start on plant when seeds attain physiological maturity and it rains seeds of poor quality are produced Boron deficiency causes hollow heart of pea. Zinc causes Skyra disease of paddy. This uh, you know. During seed production, seed should be produced in the area of adaptation. Otherwise, there is chance of genetic shift in cultivars. Here, term genetic shift is very important. Okay. Because wherever there is no adaptation, there will be different changes so here i am giving you one simple assignment just google the meaning of genetic shift and give the give it in the comment box okay contamination in genes is usually provoked by giving isolation distance means it is prevented by isolation distance we can avoid contamination in genes moisture content of seed is very important for seed storage and processing standardization of seed testing is by ISTA uh, under 140 seed testing authorities are present uh, only working on ISTA and the present director is Indian only Keshavalu
ओके श्री केशवलु सर इज द प्रेजेंट डायरेक्टर कमिंग टू सीड बॉन्ड डिसीजेस फर्स्ट वन इज लूज मट ऑफ वेट युस्टिलोगो नोडा ट्रिटिसाइ इज बोथ सीड बॉन्ड एंड मीन्स इट इज इंटीरियर एंड एक्सटीरियर सीड बॉन्ड डिसीज एयर बॉन ऑलसो विच प्रोड्यूस क्लैमिडोस्पोर्स इनफेस्टेड मीन्स वेन पैथोजन इज प्रेजेंट ऑन सर्फेस ऑफ द सीड देन इनफेक्टेड मीन्स वेन पैथोजन इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड द सीड एडमिक्शर वेन पैथोजन इज लूजली मिक्सड विद द सीड्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बॉडीज लाइक स्क्लेरोशिया और गॉल्स इट इज नाउन एज concomitant contaminant okay this uh, terminology is this term, term is very important concomitant contaminant means pro producing uh, small gall or sclerotia kind of body and uh, to make admixture in the seeds externally seed borne diseases like tilacia in wheat bunt means tilacia causes wheat bunt then uh, sclerotheca reliana which causes head smut of sorghum as it produces chlamydospores coming to internal seed borne diseases seed caught borne are alternaria brassicola alternaria raffani alternaria sesami sarcospora hikuchi in soybean endosperm borne means uh, in diplodia zea in maize fusarium moniliforme in sorghum embryo burner formalingam in cabbage fusarium culmorum in wheat scleroptera resica in uh, downy mildew resia in downy mildew of maize then concomitant contaminants or admixtures these are in the form of sclerosh nematode galls get mixed with seeds and are carried sclerotia of claviceps purpurea that is mixed in seeds of rye bajra sclerotia nea sclerotium in several crops cyst of heterodera glycinis in soya bean then gall of anguina triticae in wheat coming to the control of seed borne diseases like hot water treatment that is soaking seeds overnight and placing in hot water for 52 to 54 uh, degree celsius for 20 to 30 minutes then solar heat treatment for loose mud of wheat okay coming to the different uh, disease causing uh, organisms in different crops in wheat eustilago triticae causes loose mud neomossa indica causes kernel bunt anguina triticae ear cockle alternaria triticum black uh, point in case of rice helminthosporium arise brown spot neovasa indica uh, bunt xanthomonas arise that uh, causes bacterial blight in case of maize cephalosporium uh, acromonia for uh, ear rot in sorghum specialotica sorghi to uh, cause grain smut or kernel bunt then specialotica sorghi uh, which also called specialia sorghi which causes sugary disease or ergot here you should know the difference between speci specialia and specialotica okay we one causes kernel bunt and one causes ergot in case of pearl millet sclerospora germinicola graminicola which causes downy mildew then uh, claviceps fusiformis causes uh, ergot potato uh, phy phytophthora infestans causes late blight then sarcospora hikuchi causes purple stain in soya bean coming to the different insects uh, during production and storage of seed pulse beetle is the major problem which is uh, scientifically called as colesobruchus species rice weevil is cetophilus oryze angomonis grain moth is cetotroga ceratola these are causing damage in the field as well as during storage conditions coming to the nematodes associated with seeds they move in form of cysts or galls always remember nematodes are contaminated in the form of cysts or galls seed gall nematode in wheat 
anguina triticae which cause ear cockle hardness of wheat profuse but early uh, tillering takes place in infected plants inflorescence turn into galls or uh, cockles by these ear cockles okay stem nematodes are ditilancus dispatchi what it do internal parasite of stem leaves bulbs it attacks onion inflorescence okay ditilancus dispatchi remember this attacks onion which is a stem nematode another one in rice is ditilancus anguistus which causes ufra disease of rice here no panicle formation shriveled and sterile seeds are produced next is cyst nematode produced by heterodera ZA and uh, heterodera sorghi in case of uh, maize and sorghum respectively golden nematode is uh, globodera rustachianis that parasitizes root and tubers of potato root knot nematode is maladagaina species in banana seeds of groundnut combs of uh, gladiolus potato tubers grapevine roots apple seedling then uh, buds uh, and leaf nematode white tip nematode that is uh, aphelenchoides bessie in case of rice short deformed sterile seeds are produced by this bud and leaf nematode coconut palm nematode is Rhodinophilancus cocophilus that causes a red ring of coconut and oil palm. Burrowing nematode is Rhodophilus similis, which is internal parasite of uh, rhizome, suckers, and roots of banana, as well as it affects sweet potato. Root lesion nematode is Pratilenca species. Spiral stubby root and dagger nematode. Spiral nematode is Helicotelencus species in banana. Stubby root nematode is Trichodorus in potato and onion. Dagger nematode is present in Siphinema that is in grapevine roots. Coming to methods for uh, denematization. Seed dressing with phen uh, Phenomephos or Aldicarb at the rate of 1 to 2 percent. Okay. Seed treatment with aldicarb, carbofuran, dasanit or thymate 0.25 to 0.1%. Coming to seed production and seed certification. Removal of off type of plants of the relative or varieties and weeds from seed production plot is nothing but a roguing process. Mechanism of varietal testing, release and notification. Varieties before release are tested for three years generally and all India coordinated research project of the crop. Varietal release program is uh, detail, um, explained in detail form uh, in other video. Based on the performance, they are released for specific agroclimatic zones. New varieties are released under section 5 of the Seed Act. Here you should note that no field inspection is required for production and sale of truthfully labeled seed. Any person can submit seed lot to seed testing laboratory of the seed lot and here it is prescribed a limit for germination. It is sold with genetic where genetic purity is not guaranteed. That means in case of truthfully labeled seeds, genetic purity is not ensured. There are 33 breeder seed production units under national seeds program. This will be changing year after year. Breeder seed should have 100% genetic purity. There are 13 seed uh, corporation in India. This also um, updated recently. There are 29 state seed certification agencies and 105 seed testing laboratories out of which 54 are officially notified seed testing labs under Seed Act. Now, the isolation distance, number of inspections and germination percentage of different crops we shall discuss here. Wheat, rice, oat and barley require foundation seed production isolation distance of 3 meter. The same for certified seeds also. Number of inspections are 2 and 85% germination is required. For bursim and lucerne, 400 
meters of isolation for foundation seed and 100 meters for certified two inspections are required 80 percent germination is uh, sufficient in castor foundation seed production 300 and certified uh, 150 number of inspections to 70 percent germination cotton for varieties 50 meter and for uh, uh, certified seed 30 meter two inspections 65 percent germination in groundnut 3 meter as groundnut is a self pollinated crop 3 meter in generally all the self pollinated crops require 3 meter uh, isolation distance uh, two inspections are sufficient germination differs uh, only that is about 70 percent rapeseed and mustard for foundation seed 50 to 100 meter and certified 25 to 50 uh, meters of isolation distance three inspections are required as it is uh, having self as well as cross pollinated uh, uh, species 85 percent of germination is must in rapeseed and mustard sesamum 100 meters and 50 meters of isolation distance three inspections and uh, 90 percent about uh, 80 percent of germination soybean cow uh, soybean 3 meter two inspections 70 percent germination cowpea 10 meter and 5 meter for foundation and certified seed respectively two inspections 75 percent of germination percent p 10 meter and 5 meter three inspections and 75 percent uh, of uh, germination cauliflower 1600 and 1000 meter for foundation and certified this is very important in case of cruciferous uh, plants isolation distance is uh, too much okay here three inspections and 65 percent germination let use 50 and 25 um, meters of uh, distance three inspections 70 percent germination carrot 1000 meter and 800 meter for foundation and certified four inspections are required with 60 percent germination onion 1500 meters four inspections 70 percent in vegetables number of inspection will become high in radish and turnip again 1600 and 1000 four inspections 70 percent of germination in case of brinjal 200 and 100 three inspections 70 percent germination okra 400 and 200 three inspections 65 percent germination sweet and hot pepper 400 and 200 uh, isolation distance three inspections and 60 percent germination tomato 50 and 25 meters three inspections 70 percent germination cucurbits 1000 meter and 500 meter for foundation and certified seeds three inspections 60 percent germination sunflower 400 and 200 three inspections 70 percent germination pigeon pea 200 and 100 meters of isolation two inspections 75 percent germination chickpea 10 meter and 5 meter two inspections and 85 percent of germination generally the seeds having greater size will be having high percentage of germination again it depends on the genetic purity vigor and all those factors lentils and uh, kesari 10 uh, meter and 5 meter two inspections and 75 percent germination black gram and green gram 10 meter and 5 meter two inspections and 75 percent germination here you should note down that in sunflower sterile plants of same strains are not considered as off types in wheat maximum loops lo lose smut infection for foundation seed is 0.1 percent is allowed and for certified seeds 0.5 percent is allowed coming to seed processing seed processing involve the the functions like drying cleaning grading seed treatment bagging remember five processes drying cleaning size or grading seed treatment and bagging cereals normal drying of the seeds rapeseed uh, sugar beet and grasses quick drying pulses slow drying because if you dry pulses very uh, very uh, fastly the protein content will get decreased then three types of and uh, also the keeping quality will also decline three types of artificial drying system are layer dryer batch dryer and uh, 
continuous dryers. Temperature of air for seed drying is less than 40 degrees Celsius. Moisture more than 18% to 32 degrees Celsius. Temperature used means maximum temperature. Seed moisture if less than 18% means 40 degrees Celsius is used as a maximum temperature. Desiccants used for seed drying are calcium chloride, calcium oxide and silica gel. Seed treatment with brine or salt 10%, 10 gram salt in 100 gram or 100 ml of water. Soak in brine for ergot infection treatment. Coming to the tetrazoleum test for seed viability. 235 tetrazoleum chloride or TZ or bromide or grodex. This was developed by Lecon. Lecon. Seeds are soaked in 0.5 to 1% aqueous solution of tetrazoleum solution. The living embryo converts colorless that uh, will give red stain that is triphenyl formazan. 235 triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride when viable embryo is present will be converted to triphenyl formazan okay that is the end product and here color formation will take place when seed and is dormant and very slow in germination tz test is very useful tz test does not differentiate dormant and non-dormant seeds but viable seeds and non-viable it will uh, differentiate chemical seed treatment will improve germination percent buffer used during tz test is phosphate buffer t3 test won't differentiate the healthy or diseased seed chemically injured seeds etc coming to the process of seed testing seed testing required to assess the seed quality attributes of seed lots standard seed testing procedure was given always it is recommended by ista only Sampling of the seed lot. Up to 5 containers are sampled where more than 5 primary samples from each container are taken. Means if 5 containers are there means more than 5 primary samples from each container are taken. 6 to 30 containers are taken to sample 5 containers or more than 1 in every 3 container. 31 to 40, 400 containers are there means 10 containers are sampled at least one in every five containers are considered more than 400 uh, bags are there means sam uh, sample 80 containers or at least one in every seven containers now the quantity matters here up to 500 kg is there means five individual samples are taken 500 to 300 kg means one individual sample for each 300 kg but not less than five 3,001 to 20,000 kg means one sample for each 500 kg but not less than 10 samples. More than 20,000 kg is there means one sample for each 700 kg but not less than 40 samples are taken. Sample for moisture test should be submitted in moisture proof container. Coming to the process of moisture de de determination, it should be done immediately after receiving the sample. Moisture meter cannot measure moisture less than 8%. Hot air oven driving, uh, drying where sample 1 mg at 103 degrees Celsius for 17 hours. Here for cereals 2 hours means 4 hours. The formula is M is equal to M2 minus M3 divided by M2 minus M1 into 100 where M1 is weight of uh, empty container, M2 is weight of containers plus seed before drying, M3 is weight of containers plus seed after drying. This is the process of moisture determination. Next is physical purity. Sample taken is 3 to 1000 gram of seeds to test the physical purity. Pure seed refers to species stored by sender. It include immature, diseased, germ, uh, germinated, un undersized, shriveled. Then um, they are turned as bad or uh, galls, whatever contamination is there 
these are not considered as pure but impure seeds broken seeds are more than half size of normal seed is pure seed free caryopsis of grass and cereals with the removal of glumes lemma and pelea are pure seeds seeds of leguminous brassicaceae then um, pinaceae taxidiaceae with seed coat removed are considered as inert matter the result of purity test shall be given to one decimal place coming to seed germination hypogeal germination and epigeal germination will be there hypogeal means cotyledons remain underground hypo means below the ground epigeal means cotyledons come above the soil surface or the whole structure will come above the uh, soil surface hypogeal germination example is p for epigeal french bean green gram soya bean seed imbibe moisture where the enzymes get activated respiration increases size of uh, paper towel used is generally 4.6 cm into sorry 46 cm into 29 cm normally 400 pure seeds per sample are recommended which can be divided into four replications of 100 seeds each for germination test four classification are normal seeding abnormal seedling hard seeds and dead seeds here you should note germination percent is reported on the basis of normal seedlings only okay coming to seed dormancy dormancy in legume seeds is generally due to impermeability to water the seeds may be scarified by rubbing seed coat with the sandpaper or puncture seed coat with needle in seed testing lab potassium nitrate that is kno3 ga3 or gibberellic acid chilling heat treatment are used to break the dormancy coming to seed storage and packing here orthodox and recalcitrant seeds are considered period of viability increases with the decrease in seed moisture is the case in orthodox seeds the examples are pulses cereals and oil seeds whereas recalcitrant means period of viability decrease with decrease in seed moisture like rubber oak cocoa etc that means some content of moisture is always required in case of recalcitrant that is in more quantity note at, at uh, physiological maturity seeds generally have maximum germination and vigor a long lived seed uh, character is dominant over short lived in case of maize presence of husk glumes on seed reduces injury generally small seeds escape injury whereas large seeds get damaged seed moisture or in seed protein absorbs bulk of water uh, carbohydrates little less lipids do not absorb at all temperature higher tem higher temperature the more rapid is uh, seed deterioration means more the temperature more seed deterioration mites do not survive under 5 degree celsius insects below 15 degree celsius most storage fungi do not grow under 0 degree celsius coming to harrington thumb rule for every decrease of 5 degree celsius in storage temperature the life of seed doubles between 0 degree to 50 degree celsius for every 1% decrease in moisture the life of seed doubles between moisture content of 5 to 14% is the thumb rule seed viability uh, monograph here nomograph here interaction between temperature seed moisture and period of viability are considered the rh or humidity factor of 70% is accepted as maximum for storage and temperature of 30 degree celsius is maximum for good seed storage pre storage uh, preventive measures should be taken should have no windows one door disinfectant with uh, melathion 50 ec at the rate 5 liters per 100 meter square fumigate with alp at the rate of 2 tablets of 3 grams each per ton of uh, seed for 5 to 7 days or one tablet per meter square treat the processed seed with 
BHC 5% dust at the rate 1 gram per kg or Malathion 5% dust at the rate 0.5 grams per kg. Ethylene dibromide at the rate 32 grams per uh, grams per meter cube. Okay. Storage of breeder seed and uh, germ plasm. Duration 5 to 7 years means temperature 15 to 20 degrees uh, maintained at a humidity of 45 to uh, 50 degrees Celsius, 50% of RH. 20 to 25 years uh, huh, storage is 2 to 4 degrees Celsius and uh, RH is 40 to 45%. More than 50 years storage required, less than minus 10 degree celsius of temperature and 40 to 50 percent of humidity coming to seed packing moisture vapor resistant is 200 to 300 gauge polythene moisture vapor proof is 700 gauge polythene these are the gauges required for the polythene bag used for seed packaging Low density polythene are uh, satisfactory for seed storage. To store in moisture proof container, the seed moisture should be 5%. Coming to cultivar purity test here, pedigree system is used at maintaining cultivars trueness. This is all about part 1 friends, the rest of the things will cover in part 2.